Just Incredible here with a Mega Man X3 100% tutorial on fighting Bite. Earlier in this tutorial, we had to fight Bit at some point during the uh, 8 Maverick run. Well, the same thing applies here. We have to fight Bite at some point, too. Um, in 100%, you fight Bite in either Hornet, Catfish, or Crawfish. Uh, but unlike the Bit fight, um, there is no disadvantage to fighting Bite in a particular in a particular stage, because um, you're always coming in with a, a, a full charge shot for uh, for the drill, and in the like in the unlikely event or unfortunate event that he appears in Catfish, we have backup strats to get around the shortage of drill in that particular fight. But let's just say, for the sake of argument, that we fight him in crawfish, which is actually the most optimal of the three stages to fight him. It's just unlikely that he will wait to spawn in this stage. So until you encounter a bite, you always want to come into the bit and bite room with a full charge shot. Because we're going to use the drill. But you don't come in with the drill activated because it consumes energy uh, the longer it stays out. But we're going to get to the uh, mechanics of the fight here. So the moment the fight begins, uh, with your full charge, you're going to jump toward him and jet. And right before you uh, uh, get in close enough range to hit him, you want to switch to your tornado thing, and the drill will automatically come out. And you use the tip of this charge drill to inflict the first of six charged hits. And for each hit, you'll deal 5 damage. So with 32 health, uh, you want 6 hits at 5 damage apiece will deal 30 damage, which will leave you 2. So that way you can finish him off with a non-weakness weapon and not destroy him. So after getting this first hit, you're going to quickly turn around and scale the opposite wall. Because Bite's about ready to go this way. Because he's going to shoot a mine, and then he's going to charge the wall. And then he'll repeat the pattern. So as Bite comes over to the left side, you want to jump over him, and as you fall, you want to hit him with the charge drill. Uh, the faster you can get damage on him, the more time you will have later at the end of the fight to set up for the finish. And this fight is very, very time sensitive to fight optimally. Um, if you get hit, um, you lose your charge drill, and then you have to resort to uncharged drills which not only are slower, but they deal less damage. So you're going to lose a few more seconds that way. So after he comes over to this side, you want to hit him with the drill. For This This is the second hit. And afterwards, you just want to walk away a little bit, let his iframes expire, so that when they expire, you can dash into him with the point of the drill, which will deal damage and then you just want to walk away again and repeat this process a couple more times um, but you don't want to run into him because if you get damaged this drill is gone and you have to recharge and by that time you just want to fight you will have to fire uncharged drills which is slower and you do want to cancel the drill which you cancel it either by letting the charge go or you get hit but we want to cancel the drill at the very end so after getting three more hits uh, with this drill, which he's already taken five charge drills at this point. So this is the setup for getting hit number six. Uh, after that fifth hit, you want to get all the way over to this side. And that buys you enough time so that when uh, Bite charges the, uh, the wall, you can turn around and he can run into the drill. Like so here. Now at this moment he's taken the last hit of charge drill and you're close enough to him that you're going to get hit. So this charge drill is going to go away which means you're able to charge up again. But we want to cancel the drill so we weapon cancel and when we get tossed around you're going to end up in this situation and then you can just release the charge. You'll have a full buster charge shot to deal the last 2 HP and end the fight. Um, if you can get hit, actually, as you fall, you actually have control here. And if you can air dash as soon as you hit the ceiling before coming down into him again, you can actually get away 
from his clutches and while he swings his arm, he's actually not going to do anything for a second. And that allows you just to hug the wall here and fire the shot that way. But that's a, uh, if you can manage to time your air dash uh, well enough to get away from him. It doesn't always work, but it's a, it's a cool little trick that you can do to save a, a little bit of time. So with that, let's see if I can get this fight. One, two, three, four, five, six. And there's the release of the charge. And that's the fight. As you see, the fight ended very, very quickly. Uh, this fight only took about eight and a half seconds. The uh, bit fight took about uh, 11 or 12 seconds. So, as you see, with the charge weapon usage, uh, it cuts down on time drastically. So that concludes the the, uh, the bite fight tutorial. Uh, next you'll see Volt Catfish, probably the most uh, fun and technically demanding level in my opinion of the entire game.